Member for Courtney Comox. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Comox Valley Growers and Seed Savers hosted another successful Seedy Saturday this weekend. Choices of locally adapted, organic, healthy, and productive seeds abound from dozens of island-based vendors and the local seed swap. This event would not be possible without the leadership of President Sylvain Ali and Vice President Colin Sutton and over 60 volunteers who help thousands of gardeners benefit from seeds to grow low cost and healthy food. Growing food security is another delicious benefit as you're sure to put food on the table. Having problems in the garden, Comox Valley Horticultural Society and the Vancouver Island Master Gardeners Association is on hand. Seed Savers also host workshops throughout the year. This year I picked up an umbrella, a fundraiser for the horticulturalists. It's bright with an award-winning photo taken at Victoria's Royal Roads University by Courtney artist David Ballantyne. A big thank you to a number of vendors who took the time to chat with me. Simon Toole of Good Earth Farms in Black Creek sells smaller and bigger packets of non-hybrid seed directly to gardeners and farmers, as well as to Sudbury-based seed company Northern Wildfire. He's also part of the BC Eco Seed Co-op, along with about 20 other producers, supplying the volumes needed by BC farmers. Rachel Hallowell of Homegrown Bee in Merville sells everything from beehives to honey. Mervillite Joyce McMenamin offers her speedy bin rat-busting composters that she has produced in Coquitlam. Vancouver Island wool pellets provide slow-release fertilizer and moisture control. There was even room made for a Comox Valley group growing funds to sponsor a refugee family from Afghanistan. The diversity of CD Saturday shows how buying local, buying BC, really does mean success for all of us. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.